Defining Project Activities. Hi, I'm Bill Carmody. When you're ready to define the project activities, what you're trying to do is take a big amorphous mass of the project and break it down into its smallest bite-sized components. There's an art to doing this because essentially like you're like, oh, we want to launch this product by this time frame. Great, but look at all the things that go into that. It's not just even the building of a product. It's also the marketing, the communication, the meetings, the status, the updates, the, the metrics of success. So what you're really trying to do is you're trying to say, what are the individual activities that are necessary for this project to be successful? And so when you're doing that, you sort of start at the highest level and you say, okay, here's the outcome we all want to see. Now, from there, what are all the sense of activities of each individual component that will be necessary to layer up to that outcome? And what happens is you're slowly but surely breaking it down. Now, you might want to do it by function and say, okay, what does my product team need to do? What does my marketing team need to do? What do my operations team need to do? What do my quality assurance teams need to do? And then as you break it all down, you start to come into the one bite-sized component. Why that's important is that essentially you're the holder of all of this. You want to make sure that everybody knows what they're supposed to be doing this day, this week, this month. And so if you're championing and you're quarterbacking the whole project, the more granular you can get, the easier it is to say, look, all I need from you today is finish the source requirements. Okay, great. They're putting the requirements document together. Why? Because that requirement document moves to the next person where they can say, yes, I approve. I agree. This is what we need to be doing. That gets channeled to the next person who does the next thing with the to improve the product, right? My point is this. As you go through and you really think about the product itself, it's easy to get overwhelmed by all the things you want to accomplish in the project. Don't get overwhelmed. Instead, start breaking it down first at the highest level. So here's the outcome I want to see. Here's all the people that are involved. Here are all the departments that are going to be touching this project. And then look at it from that perspective of what are the most important paths that each person needs to accomplish to be successful. Your time is limited. Your resources tend to be limited. So therefore, what you really want to focus in on is how do you make sure you've measured twice and cut once? This is your measurement time. Here's all the things I need to keep track of so that I can have a successful launch of my project. Once you've done it and you've actually come up with a draft, you're going to want to review that with all the people who are going to be involved and say, I believe this is all the things we need to accomplish. Do you agree? Have I missed anything? And so that way people have a chance to review it beforehand and say, you know, I know you said that we're going to have to write the email copy, but you didn't talk about how we take that copy and put it into the actual software that's going to be sending it out, for example. Oh, okay. So then this actually has to go to a different level. That can be sorted out ahead of time. But by doing all of the tasks up front, it gives you a really great opportunity to look at the entire project end to end on paper and say, did we nail it? It also helps to make sure, do we have the right resources? Do we have the right budget? Did we give ourselves enough time to be successful? Are we set up to win? Once you've reviewed all those things, then you can confidently lock it down and ask everyone to sign off on the actual project uh, uh, plan. And then that will help lead to everyone knowing what they need to do each day, each week, each month until the project is completed on time and within budget at quality level. That makes sense?